Hello everyone, and welcome back to Paper Mario. I'm DJ Cinnabon, and of course, this is Paper Mario. In the last episode, we got to Mount Rugged, we started Chapter 2, we got all the way through Mount Rugged, we found Paracair, we found all his letters, and we beat Buzzard. Yeah, we beat Buzzard. So, in this episode, we're going to be moving on to Dry Dry Desert. Or Dry Dry Dessert. Although, I don't think you would want a really dry dessert that probably wouldn't be that good. No. The last, <laughs> the last time I had a dry dessert, it was not pleasant. But here we actually have uh, Colorado. Um, remember, back last chapter, uh, Cooper said this is actually his neighbor. And he's an explorer, so here he is exploring in dry dry desert looking for... A golden idol, an artifact of some sort. He just wants something. So, if we have Paracary out, um, he will actually... Paracary will deliver the letter he has to Colorado. And we get a star piece from it. Important. Must get. So, it is important to have... Uh, that's actually something I need to bring up. Is uh, It is very useful to have Paracary out uh, when you go off places when you start talking to new people, because he will actually, uh, uh, words, words come to me, he will actually deliver the mail that you have in your inventory for, uh, random people. And here we actually have bandits. Uh, bandits, when they attack you, they take 10 coins every time they hit you. So, you know, they're annoying. And if you don't hit them the next turn after they steal your money, they run away. And you can't get your money back. So it's important, I would say, to take them down as quickly as you can. And try not to lose all your money. Because once you lose all your money, you have no more money. And you need money. There's actually something coming up relatively soon that money is very, very helpful. I'm going to take this honey syrup. So here, this block, 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 um, it's already been hit, although we have never hit it. So, out of curiosity, we're going to hit it. Ooh, a magical block. So in this magical block, we have a mushroom. Now, if we hit this magical block, this weird block, ten times, one, two, three, four, five, Everybody hit this block, we get a super shroom. And the super shroom is very helpful. I'm going to get rid of the fright jar. Um, because it heals double the amount of a mushroom. Very, very good. However, there's one more thing we can get from this block. And in order to get it, I'm going to go really fast. You know, just like, kind of easy. I mean, you guys see it in like half a time or a third of the time that I'm doing it, but like I'm putting all this after it, and I got hit this button like a hundred times. I hit this button a hundred times. Well, you guys, just take a few minutes, like maybe not a few minutes, but take six, six, six time, and you guys see it like, oh, done. I, I am moderately jealous. Moderately jealous, you guys. So hopefully this happens soon. Ah, there we go. So, in, and in this block, we have the Ultra Shroom. The Ultra Shroom is awesome. So I'm going to get rid of Sleepy Sheep. Uh, the Ultra Shroom is really, really good, being that it's actually the best healing item in the entire game. Also, have Cooper out. There, there may be some battles coming up that, or that have already happened that I've had to run away from, being the one we just ran away from, that has multiple enemies in it. So it's very useful to have Cooper out, if you can. So now we just have to make our way through Dry Dry Desert. This, however, is much easier than I initially thought it was way back when I first was playing this game. When I first got this game, although I've told you guys that I have not, I never really played the second chapter. Although I did, however, want to explore the entire place. So what I did, tornado with a face, you are cool. I'm going to explain that in a moment. Or a later time. One or the other. Either way, I did want to explore everything, so I wanted to get to the town that's actually coming up. 
uh, called Dry Dry Outpost that this guy actually tells us about. Um, so I wanted to get there, and I and I knew it was past this desert. So I thought there was some elaborate way to get through this through this desert, and I had no idea where to go. I was lost in here, and I just I just had no idea, no idea how to get there. Is there anything in these trees? I want to check them. Um, and I spent a lot of time in this desert trying to figure out how to get to Dry Dry Outpost. Turns out, if you just head straight along this conveniently placed path, you actually get to Dry Dry Desert with no problem. Yep. No problem. No problem at all. You just head along the path. Guess who didn't? I didn't. I didn't know that. I just. I thought you had. I thought it was like. I thought it was a maze. I thought it was a legitimate maze, and you had to like find your way through this desert, and it was going to be all elaborate. And you know what? It wasn't. I overthought the game. Here, if we hit this tree, we get a letter. So, grab the letters if you can. They can be useful. And here. We actually have a dry, dry outpost. I, I had to think what this place was called. And... Hello. Interesting. What happened here? <laughs> Temporary float. Okay. Interesting. But this is um, a lot like Toad Town in that everything is pretty well here. Um, there's shops, there's people to talk to, there's things to do. But most importantly, in my mind, most importantly, over here is this mouse. And this mouse pretty well tells us that this person here, Merle, um, she will give us, for a certain amount of coins, she will give us this card dance. This card dance is, like, stupid helpful in this game. Oh my god, is it helpful. So, we want the special course. Don't even bother with the other two. Special course. So, 50 coins is so good for this. So, now we get to watch this little, this little scene. We get shuffled around in this deck. We became a card. And Merle puts a spell on us. This spell actually allows Merle to come help us out. She will either double experience after a battle, she'll double our attack power, or maybe not double, but increase our attack power, or increase our defense, or increase the amount of coins. Sure, I'll give you something. I'll give you... This honey syrup. How's that? Um... Do I want to give this guy anything more? Uh, sure. I'll give you... An egg. Egg! I am nice. I don't really want to give you any more things. Um, uh, fine, I'll give you something else. I don't really want to keep giving this guy things, although I think I do have to. Here, have a mushroom. I am very, very nice. Oh, you are a sheik. I completely skipped that because I thought there was going to be more text. Oh well, I guess we'll never know what that said. Um, ask more. Aww. Sleepy sheep. What What is your favorite food? Just so I can get it out of the way. Starts with an L, ends with an N, and is a yellow fruit. He must want a lemon. So, 
we will go get this guy a lemon. A lemon. That's all he wants is a lemon. So, now we have to make our way. Mouse, why, why do you run from me? I need to know. Where are you? Ah. I don't know what you want, but you're weird. So if we come out here, I believe the where we can find a lemon is actually in the oasis. And the oasis, conveniently, is not too far from... Hopefully I can dodge all these guys. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Enemies. Enemies! Words. Enemies over here. Um, is actually just a couple uh, squares away from Dry Dry Outpost. So over here we can have a lime. What else we got? Got some bushes here. We don't have anything in. Kills up. Very, very nice. Over here. Over. Ooh, this thing. Very important. So this is a super block. The super block will upgrade one of our party members. We can choose anyone we want. So, I am actually going to upgrade Bombette first. I really, really like Bombette. So Bombette, when she's upgraded, she learns, I believe it's called Power Bomb, and she is now able to attack all the enemies on the ground. So she just became, like, super useful. Um, although that move takes a lot of FP to use, definitely worth it. And here's that lemon move. So now we just have to make a way back to that guy to give him the lemon. So I think I'm just going to cut back there. Okay, so we're back to this guy, and we have to give him... Yeah, I'd like to give you something. Here's a lemon. It's your favorite food. It is pretty nice. I would like to see Mostafa. <laughs> Mostafa, oh my god. That reminds me of... Uh... Mustafa from Austin Powers. And... Oh my god, he is so funny. Dry Troom first, then Dusty Ham. Okay, so that's how we see Mustafa to buy things... Oh, sorry, I bumped my mic. Um, so that's how we have to see him. So that will be enough. Now we just have to go buy those items from the shop. And I believe that will let them see the Mustafa. But like I was saying, in Austin Powers, there's the character Mustafa. And for, when I was first playing this game, I was really, really big into uh, Austin Powers. And God, he just cracked me up. So first we need the dry shrooms, then the dusty hammer. love to see Mostafa. Going up and up. How do I get there? Okay. Now we have to figure out how to find Mustafa. But, uh, like I was saying, sorry, I keep, I keep getting sidetracked from my story. I actually, I've never been a very good reader. I know it's surprising, right? Um, but the Mustafa, I always pron pronounce, or I always read it as Mustafa, and I always wondered why they call a character in a Mario game the same name as a character in an Austin Bowers movie. And I, I just found that really, really funny. So over here, we, this should be the Mustafa, but we already talked to you. You were the Sheik. I guess I, you are the one and only I've been looking for. And I like how the mouse is, the mice, the mice are characters in this game. I, I find that pretty funny. Actually, the whole, like, Paper Mario series, except for one of them. One of them, I just cannot get behind at all. I think it's just an atrocious game. Ooh, the pulse stone. 
So this will actually lead us to dry, dry ruins. And it is really, really helpful. And as we get closer, as he's telling us, the pulse stone flashes faster and faster, and eventually it will just open up the way to dry, dry ruins. And we can finally find the second, uh, the second, uh, star spirit. But I'm actually, actually going to call that an episode. You are interesting. You, this, this comes in, this is, this is something that is very important later on. Um, there's actually something we have to do with this, but we'll tackle that then. But for now, I th I'm going to call this an episode. I hope you've liked what you've seen. And next episode, we should be going into and doing a portion of Dry Dry Ruins. So that should be fun. And I hope to see you there. And until then, I've been DJ Cinnamon Bun, and this has been Paper Mario. See you next time. Bye.